What's going on everybody? Ryan Williams here. Thanks for tuning in to the FanDuel channel to catch the divisional round of the DFS studs here on the FanDuel. Hurry up. As always, we're going to talk about three studs that I think you should be targeting for your lineups. And these are only going to apply to the Saturday only slate. We got Cincinnati taking on Tennessee, Green Bay taking on San Francisco. This should be a fun weekend, a fun divisional round. And we're going to start it off with getting our three stud plays for that Saturday only slate. But guys, make sure you're looking at FanDuel. A lot of games that they're offering for Saturday only, Sunday only, sun, or Saturday through Sunday. Um, a fun one where you can take players from, from all four games. So a lot of fun contests going on there. Some big contests as well. We appreciate you guys checking that out. Appreciate you guys subscribing to the channel as well. Hitting the like button on the videos when you like the content. Uh, interacting with us. Hitting that notification bell so you guys know when we go live all week. And we got the fun content with you guys rolling into the weekend so that you are prepared for the division around let's talk about these studs we're going to start it off as we always do, and that's at the quarterback position. We're going to talk about the boy Aaron Rodgers, the controversial Aaron Rodgers, and uh, nothing controversial about him this week. He comes in at $8,400. Nice price tag there. You like that. It's a 47 and a half, uh, I believe is what I last saw it on the FanDuel Sportsbook, is what the total's coming in at, and the Packers have actually been playing over the totals in their past couple of weeks, so definitely think that we should see some offensive goodness here. There's a lot of offensive goodness to be had especially when you're talking about the Packers. The one thing we like about Green Bay this week is that the offensive line is looking like they're coming back healthy. I believe David Bakhtiari, he played in week 18, a couple snaps to kind of get him ready, uh, has had the week off here. I think Matt LaFleur is saying that we'll see how the week goes, but... but all intents and purposes, this is a playoff game here, home playoff game for them. Not too many for Green Bay uh, in Aaron Rodgers' career. Actually, only 8 of 21 of his playoff games have come at home. So very interesting stat that I thought uh, as we you know think of the Packers here as having you know home field advantage in Lambeau, but they've had to travel on the road. But I digress. Offensive line is getting healthy. We know who you can pair Aaron Rodgers with. A lot of fun options there, and the touchdowns do come from him. He's had uh, 4 out of the last 5 games against San Francisco, multi touch touchdown games since 2018 and all four of the home playoff games that he's played in since 2018 or since 2017 excuse me he's had a multi-touchdown games as well there you like that he's um in the past couple of games he's really only had against San Fran that he's played in 260 yards uh or more is what he's had in, in four out of those five I believe the one game the one caveat they were getting blown out uh by San Fran in the 2019 matchup that they faced in the regular season but Aaron Rodgers we know what he's trying to do he's trying to prove to people that he's the MVP trying to prove to people that Green Bay can get back to the promised land here and the road goes through Lambeau this like again this does not happen very often so he's one of the guys that I definitely want to target um, and I'm going to talk about another guy that you can pair him with I think you can feel safe with putting Rodgers into your lineups for Saturday Jamar Chase Jamar Chase absolutely explosive last week wasn't able to find pay dirt but you're looking at that 9-116 line that he had um, against this uh, against the Raiders team he he can absolutely not be stopped and Joe Burrow has absolutely loved peppering this guy over the past couple of weeks you're looking at the past three games 27 receptions 507 yards and three touchdowns for Jamar Chase he's absolutely hitting his stride at the perfect time if they want any shot of beating Tennessee on the road where they are three point dogs coming in there Derrick Henry's coming back it needs to go through Jamar Chase and Tennessee defense they've struggled with wide receivers all year we look at it you're looking at the numbers they've allowed the most wide receiver targets the second most receptions and what and receiving yards and then the fourth most touchdowns to opposing wide receivers what does that equate to that equates to 38 point or 33.8 FanDuel points per game allowed to the wide receiver position. There's no reason why we can't target Jamar Chase, especially when we're talking about Saturday only. Don't, you know, people might think uh, maybe it's a T. Higgins game or, or not, but I, I do think that if anything, if they need anything, if they need that catalyst, it's going to be Jamar Chase and going against the secondary. I don't think they'll be able to stop him. So loading up on Chase in that first game of the Saturday slate feels very good. He'll be in my DFS studs lineup. If we're talking about Aaron Rodgers, we got to talk about who to pair him with. And we go over to wide receiver. It's none other than Devontae Adams, who comes in at 8,700. And, you know, I talked about what Aaron Rodgers has done against San Francisco 
what Devontae Adams has done against San Francisco is absolutely incredible. Let's look at this week, uh, this year, week three. This guy had a 12, 132, and one line against this team. And then in the postseason against them, uh, in the game that they played, he had nine for 138. And that was in 2020, the 2020 postseason, 2019, 2020 season. Uh, no less than 11 targets in five total games that he's played versus San Francisco since 2018. This guy's an absolute stud. And, and let's not, I mean, you know, we're talking about the, the team leader in red zone targets on this team, right? The team leader in target share on this team. Everything goes through Devontae Adams with this offense. And we've seen, you know, Aaron Jones and A.J. Dillon to a certain extent, the run game to a certain extent, kind of take a backseat to them. Uh, the only thing that's really keeping Devontae Adams from putting up, you know, a monster score is possibly, you know, the touchdowns going to somebody else. Aaron Jones could catch a touchdown um, possibly in the red zone. So could A.J. Dillon, Alan Lazard, Randall Cobb is coming back this week, Matt LaFleur has said. So that will be interesting. But lines against this team, I talked about those and other the other three lines that Devontae Adams had in those five games 10 for 173 and one uh seven for 130 for seven for 43 and one and then 10 for 132 and two so touchdowns in every game that he's played against san francisco absolutely love getting to Devonte adams this week that's going to do it for the divisional round of the dfs studs edition here on the FanDuel. hurry up guys thanks for tuning in again ryan williams you can find me on twitter at ryan alexander underscore w we'll be having fun rocking along all the way to the super bowl so plenty of still plenty of action to be had plenty of games to be had and make sure you guys are checking out all of the all of the dfs action that we have coming on i know jim uh Sonis did a dfs video and you can say, why is Derrick Henry not, not being talked about in the studs? Well, if you want to catch that, go see Jim Sonis' video. He talks about Derrick Henry. And then we also uh, have guys who are going to be doing the Sunday coverage for you guys for uh, values and studs as well. So make sure you're ch checking in on the FanDuel channel. Again, subscribe to the channel, Ryan Williams. I'll catch you guys next time. Hopefully you get this money. Have fun. And peace. <laughs>